Hello there. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my little massage parlor. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here before. But then I get so many travelers being this close to the ocean. The ones with the direction to find my place of business, that is. How did you hear about me? Word of mouth in the pub? <laughs> That's the best advertisement a humble massage artist can hope for. I'm off the books, so to speak. Which is why I operate out of such a small storefront on the far side of the dock. Those looking for a good massage at a criminally low cost need only spy the hanging sign with the tentacles painted upon it. Anyone who is anyone knows what it means. <laughs> Would you like to shake hands? Or shake one of my tentacles? They are equal to me, but some customers have a preference. Ah, brave of you for your first time. Tentacle it is. Pleased to meet you. My name is Repent. At your service, cephalopod human hybrid and the sole masseuse of this establishment. You've caught me at a good moment. No line of customers waiting, no other clients to service this early in the morning. Most people come to me during their midday breaks or after the workday is finished. What prompted you to find me at this hour, sailor? Ah, night worker, eh? So this would be the end of the day to you. Fair enough. I get a few of those every now and again. Well, if you're interested, I have a paper right here explaining the different massage treatments I offer. Hmm? Why, of course I offer different styles. I don't just wrap these tentacles around you and go to town. No, I have a deep understanding of the human body. What hurts? What makes it feel better? Point to a muscle, and I'll know its name as well as all your pressure points, and how to activate them. I could set up shop in a much richer area with my expertise, but I have a weakness for <laughs> salty sailors. You all seem to need my service far more than those overstuffed aristocrats, anyway, and you're certainly more grateful for it. I am paid in moans and curses in addition to coin. Speaking of coin, which treatment would you prefer? Ah, the luxury course. Long night, handsome. <laughs> of course it was. I take payment up front, if you please. Thank you. To start with, duck into that water closet there and scrub up for me. There's a shower and all the supplies you'll need. Take your time. You've booked my morning, handsome. Oh, don't mind me. I'm an incurable flirt. Feel free to act in kind. Otherwise, tell me to stop if it makes you uncomfortable. Ah, I love a man who can give me a run for my money. Go on, then. I'll be here when you're finished. You're all finished? Excellent. My, my. If I thought you were handsome before... You're practically divine with your hair all damp. 
and your body is so clean. You already look more relaxed, too, getting all that sweat and dirt from the job off you. I hope your worries dropped right off your shoulders and washed down the drain. You look incredible in that robe. I'm glad you chose the red one. Perfect with your skin tone. But you'll be taking it off in just a moment. Follow me to the back room. It won't look the same as a normal massage parlor, but trust me, this system is very efficient. You see, this rope bed allows space for my tentacles to access your body from various angles, rather than just from above. I have a pillow there for your head. I'll give it to you once you've climbed on. Very good. Much softer than you expected, isn't it? I use only the finest bulky silk. None of that scratchy nonsense. Lie on your stomach, please. Thank you. Now, I'm going to remove your robe. Pity. It looked so good on you. Mm hmm. But maybe not as much of a pity as all that. I'm surprised you don't have more tattoos. Most of my customers are coated in them. But you only have the one that I can see. It's beautiful. The one spot of art against the gorgeous canvas of your flesh. Hmm. The human body itself is the greatest work of art. All right. To start, you're going to feel my hands on your lower back. I slicked up with some oil from my belt. I'll start by just getting a Good feel of you. Relax as best you can while I search out where your tension is thickest. Mm. Mm. Your skin is surprisingly soft for a sailor, or rather, a night worker. I suppose I just called you Sailor out of habit, but I don't need to know what you do. None of that matters here. What do you do? Who you are? Even your hopes and dreams are all burdens in one form or another. While you're lying here, lying in my rope, under my touch, I want you to let everything slip away. Listen to my voice. Feel my hands running up and down your naked back, over your shoulders and back. one just here at the base of your neck. Oh, poor thing. You're guarding the muscle even now as I touch it. Try to relax and I'll focus there with my thumbs. In the meantime, you're going to feel two of my tentacles creeping up your legs. I have to anchor myself for this next bit, and that entails circling your legs 
and the ropes beneath to hold me fast. If it is too overwhelming, I can let your legs go. But this way, you have the added benefit of additional massage to your calves, your ankles, even your feet, all at once if I settle just right. There. Now I'm shifting up to straddle your back. You're doing very well so far. No panicking or sudden regret. I've experienced both many times in this line of unique work. Having what amounts to a human-sized octopus dropped onto your back can be intimidating. I understand. But even those who are nervous can't deny how enticing it is to feel the weight of such a soft and squirming body of flesh atop them. Have you ever felt anything like it? The stretching and pressing of all my tentacles across your back your shoulders, the glide of massive suckers, kissing gently at your flesh as they move. They would not feel nearly as pleasant without the oil as a soothing buffer. I learned that the hard way when I first started doing this for people. You should have seen the bruised patches I left on my first volunteer. Covered him in a clear pattern of giant circles, shoulders to ankles. Hmm. I'm lucky he was my friend, or lover, or both at that time. It was all very tangled, you see. But he was willing to let me try again once he'd healed. Without the trial and error he allowed me to carry out on his beautiful body, I wouldn't know how to please yours so well. Mm. Mm. I found another tense spot. Right here, under both shoulder blades. Such tight... Not. Let me work on them with my hands while my tentacles wrap around your waist all the way around. Relax, relax. I'm going to tighten around your belly and chest and start massaging with all my tentacles at once. But let me know if it's too much. Feel my body, my tentacles, the strength in each movement, the precise points of pressure. Does it feel good? Is it too much? No. I'm glad. Because this is only a fraction of what I can do for you. I'm nearly all pure muscle at this point, after doing this for so long. I can't wait to show you the full extent of my abilities, but this is a good start. It's best to work up to the more mm, intense things. Just lie there for a while longer, while I work you from feet to shoulders with every inch of my body. Oh my, I'll need to add more oil. Your skin must have been so dry. It's soaking it up like a desert. There. I love refreshing that slickness. It's like a breath of fresh air. 
It helps in the transition as well. Brace yourself. I'm going to turn you over. Ah, 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 no need to help me. I can manage on my own. Just stay limp and trust me. Three, two, one, and heave. Oh, oh. Good, good. Stay just like that. Let me lower you back down to the ropes. That's it. I'm going to lift your head with two of my tentacles. You'll feel them sliding up your back to find your neck. They'll be continuing to work on your spine while the rest work everywhere else. Try not to fight them and don't try to support your head with your neck. I know it might be difficult, but please let me hold the weight of it for you. Very good. I need to dig in here at the base of your skull. Ah, your hair feels so soft and lovely. I'm going to run my fingers through it, if that's okay. Hmm. I love the messy tussle of damp hair. Not limp and lifeless, but not fluffy and dry either. The middle ground is very fetching. Mmm, so nice. I'll just rest your head back down now and spread my tentacles over your temples and brow. Let every muscle in your face relax. Let them go pliant beneath my touch. Yes, everyone gathers tension at their temples and across their face. We don't realize how many expressions we make in a day or how sore it can make our faces. So let me soothe out all the aches that you never even knew you held in your face. Just let me stroke and press and massage all these tender muscles. I can feel the rest of your body so soft and pliant beneath me. That makes me happy. There's nothing like having a handsome client find the height of relaxation in your tentacles. Your smooth skin feels very nice as well. If you allow this flirty hybrid to observe. Very nice indeed. That reminds me. You might notice that while you're on your back, things seem a bit more intense. Being face to face can do that. It is very intimate. So at this point, to assess your comfortability, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. If you want to answer no to any of them, raise your left hand. Otherwise, Otherwise, I'll take your silence as affirmation. Are you comfortable? Very good. Are you enjoying this? Very good. May I spread my tentacles over your chest again? Perfect. Yes, perfect. Does that feel good? Your legs are flexing and uh, not just your legs. I don't know why I had to ask if you were enjoying this when it's so obvious that you do enjoy my many tentacle arms. 
sliding and rubbing all over you, massaging away the stress and care of the day or night in your case, making you feel so good. I live for this, for that little wrinkle between your eyes, the way you bite your lip. But you can moan for me, sailor, if you really want to. And don't hold back. Gather all your stress, frustration, or other negative feelings, and let them out with a nice, long moan. Yes, that's a start. Come on, again, let that negativity out. Ah, much better. Again, while I squeeze and massage even tighter. Let me hear you. Ah, that's it, sailor. There's the volume you needed to reach. Ah, now that you're more comfortable with that, feel free to moan whenever you need to. Hell, cry if you'd like to. If tears were coins, I'd have been rich long ago. This kind of release is so good for people. It's such a pleasure to give it to those who need it, and I get to see their relief in return. That makes me unbelievably happy. But I'm going to shut up now and finish off this luxury package for the next 20 minutes. I'll check on you as I go, but please continue to relax, breathe, and moan.